tasting like a boss outside edition early morning edition the sun's coming up right over here it's starting to get a little hot and i'm in one of my favorite cities in the central florida area i'm in mount dora if you've never been to mount dora i the best way to explain it is individuals who decided you know what let's build a little town that kind of looks like maybe gilmore's girls town or something from the northeast so let me show you what i'm talking about this is the downtown square here wraps all the way down to the lake every store represents something special i mean every single one of them some might be a little more chainy than you want it to be but you've got great antiquing you've got great art you've got just it's just fun it's a great place to come it's about 30 minutes from where we live we try to come here a couple of times a year at least usually in the fall i mean here around halloween is a great beautiful time to come um, and anyway why i'm here is i am at the village coffee pot when i googled coffee in mount dora this one came up it was established in 1990 i just talked to the owner really great guy uh and he had a, a obviously a a little gallery of locals who were here and they were chatting up. I, I, I adored it. I thought it was great. I'm going to be reviewing one of their cold brews today, just cold brew coffee black. And so let's just get right down to it. And I don't know if I want, uh, I guess I'll use the straw. It's not a paper straw. It seems like it, but it's actually plastic. So tastes like a boss coffee, uh, cold brew coffee black. They roast their own stuff. So, or at least in the area. So let's give it a shot. That's good. See, you know, I gotta say, um, I, I don't know what chains like Starbucks or when you get a Wawa get it wrong. You know what this tastes like to me? I've, I've said before that when it comes to cold brew coffees at stores that you buy, Dunkin' Donuts is actually a pretty solid one. This is better than that. You get that nice there, there's that little brightness in the beginning, like a breakfast brew, but it doesn't get sour. It has the earthy notes at the end, very round. That's that's a that's a solid cup of cold brew coffee right there. If you want just cold brew coffee black, no frills, something good. That's really good. I will also say. That I picked up, and this, I guess this is for preview for a coffee three-way, that I've got the uh, Village Coffee Pop Mountain Blue. They had other flavors, but I asked them in particular. I said, listen, I'm, I'm going to do a review. I'm going to do one that's cold brew, one that's drip, one that's espresso. What's your best flavor? I was looking at a, uh, looked like a chocolate raspberry, which would have been to the wife of the boss's chagrin. Um, I'm sure she would not have enjoyed that. She does not like raspberry. Uh, they had a vanilla, they had a hazelnut, but I was drawn to this. I didn't know what it was, and I think he told me that it's a uh, mixture of Caribbean uh, coffee flavor. So I don't know what to expect, but this is going to come up some other uh, time. If you want to look at it, there's the address right there. It's right there in the middle of Mount Dora, Florida. If you've never been, your, been to Mount Dora, Florida, do yourself a favor. you got to go. Uh, am I saying it's a tourist spot? No, it's not. But if you're here in Central Florida and you want to have a really nice day, especially when it's not as hot as today is going to be like, great. Come here in the autumn. Uh, so many great places to see. Anyway, thank you for watching and keep tasting like a boss.